process because I, I want to be able to. It was my goal. Joe Thompson knows this, and 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 Reverend Heron Kushika, who started with me about 14 years ago. It was my job. I had the Lord put in my spirit just to see this clergy coalition come into fruition, and it has manifested itself now that we're up and running and we're incorporated doing tremendous things. One thing we failed to mention tonight is that proceeds tonight that we receive tonight, whatever we have as proceeds, is going to go to a scholarship. We're going to have our first 40 uh, clergy council of the 49th Precinct Scholarship. It's going to be awarded to a young person that's in, that's part of um, you know one of our churches or mosques or synagogues that's in this room here tonight. So let's give the Lord a hand clap for that. All right, so we want to have at least a $500 scholarship to start, this is just a start tonight, and I want to again thank our committee tonight that have made this happen. Um, this is our first night of many nights, and again, I certainly want to thank again our committee. But last but not least, there's a special presentation that I want to thank God for tonight, uh, a young man who I've worked with many of uh, COs and, and uh, the officers, the priests and officers, and the, uh, uh, down through the years, started with um, Kevin Nicholson. Then uh, Tim McCormick, Inspector Tim McCormick. And after Inspector McCormick left, we had a young man that came who has really been a tremendous asset in this community. Not only that, he's going through a certain situation now, but we know God is still in control. He saved, he joined our church. And I thought it was so befitting of the community because he had done so much in the essence of what our clergy council really is all about. And so we wouldn't be tonight where we are as far as growing for the last 18 months or so. He has been a tremendous inspiration in our community, have made changes, in, and I think everybody here from the community can attest to that tonight. But we're certainly grateful to have in our midst tonight the Deputy Inspector Keith Walton. And I'm going to ask him to come to you. for our new CEO at the 4-9, uh, Captain Alps, who could not be here tonight, but this man here has been a really a tremendous part of us. And so tonight, we thought it not robbery to present him tonight with our first award, and this says in the, our appreciation to Deputy Inspector Keith Walton for your time, talent, dedication, and service in breaking barriers and bridging the gaps in our community. We thank you, the Clergy Council of the 49th Precinct. February 2nd, 2017. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's truly a pleasure and an honor to stand before you. Um, it was a great evening. This event. A speech to say thank you, you know, to express your sincere gratitude. Um, I gave everything I had to this community, uh, to my officers, the clergy council. I was a tough person to work with, work for, and there was no denying that. Um, my journey started 20 and a half years ago when I entered the uh, police academy in 1996. An overachiever from Harlem. One four nine. That's my All right. answer. Um, you know, if you're gonna complain about things and not do anything, I say follow your dream. Mm -hmm. This kid that grew up on Seventh Avenue, who lived up the hill where they call Sugar Hill, was mm -hmm. able to um, rise through the ranks to become deputy inspector. Um, I did it my way. You know, I didn't ask the borough commander for his. Uh, for his blessings. Uh. You know? I didn't ask anybody for their blessings. Uh. You know? um, 16, sometimes 17 hours a day. Mm -hmm. 25 hours a day, right? But it's only 24. <laughs> <laughs> when I left that office, I left a stack, a stack of overtime slips mm -hmm. that I never submitted. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
over 200 hours that I wow. didn't submit. 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m., 4 a.m., you can give me a call. For a noise complaint, for a block robbery. We achieved some of the greatest decreases in crimes. Over 50% of mm -hmm. homicides. Our rates were down this year when we led last year. Shootings are down phenomenal. You know, I spent more time in this part of the community than any other uh, geographical location in the Fort Knox precinct. Because as Sector Henry and Sector Ida goes, the crime rate goes uh, in the Fort Knox precinct. When I first took over the command, we had five shootings uh, in the northern part of the community. We shut the houses. When I was leaving that office, we had zero year to date last year. That's because of the hard work. You know, I truly, truly, truly appreciate working with the community. When I started my career in the 3 2 precinct, I was a community lead officer. One of the toughest beats that you can walk solo. Uh, from 149 to the polar line. No, <laughs> East River over to Bradford's. All right. So what I say is this. You know, I've been prepping myself to become a commanding officer for years. Then I finally made it to the Bronx in 2002, where the crime team that I supervised, we took more guns off the street than the street crime unit. We built these manufacturing guns. Wow. How many guns they took off the street? In the fall of the Fast forward the commanding officer, the first African American commanding officer in the history of the Fort Knox Police. Right. Right. Really would like to bring that out since we are in uh, Black History Month. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I must say, 79 days to some people will be a living heaven. It's just another journey another obstacle along the way for me. The circumstances are unfortunate. I have no choice but to let the process run its course. Amen. So when I tell you that life and death is in the tongue, All right. so this is what I'll say to you. I don't want to sound confident, cocky, or anything else. Not guilty. Amen. And if I choose to come back, we can stay there. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. So what I'll say is this. It's been an unbelievable experience to work with the Persian Council. Um, you know, you guys have been phenomenal. I've submitted some of the paperwork to some of the Dad Muhammad to join the Persian Council. You know. Um, and as you know, I'm a realist. There were people against him joining this Persian Council. All right? I submitted that paperwork against all options. Okay? Thank you. So, I'll say this. I don't want to take too much of your time because I can go. It's been 79 days since I talked. And I have a lawyer that talks for me now. So, um, it's unfortunate because I'm very transparent. You know, I really like to give it to you as it is. And for me not to stand before you and and talk about the situation, I feel like I feel like I'm doing you a disservice. But what I will say to you is this. I'm far from a top model. All right? But I never, ever in my life all right, had to force myself on a woman. Or force a woman to do anything. All All right. Right. Trust me. Right. Right. Um, we live in America, and I tell you, I've always associated myself with so many numbers: social security number, tax ID number, shield number. Never in my life did I ever think that I would ever associate myself with the worst. Look at it. Look at it. But guess what? It happened. I'm not looking back. I'm looking forward. All right. All right. All right. America, I thought you were innocent until proven guilty. All right, all right, all right. It's not the way it works. 
Yes. <clears throat> guilty until proven innocent. That's the way it works. Right. The way it works. What breaks, what hurts my heart the most is that the men and women that I challenge, mm -hmm. that I raise expectation for, mm -hmm. to be the best that they can be, when I'm not here looking for popular opinion, because I can care less what you think about me, unless you're my juror, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, for them not to be present today, and for them to back out because of Keith Walton is present, you know what? But guess what? I guess they'll be backing out of a lot of a lot of things. Jesus because sir. guess what? I'm not running nowhere. <laughs> so. I'm not going anywhere. All right, well, um, right. When you look at that, when you look at the flyer, you look in that office, you know, I constructed that office. Mm. I put together the bike unit. I put together the footpaths on Allerton Avenue, White Plains Road. All right. We decreased robberies, okay? All right. <coughs> we decreased shootings, you know? So what I would say to people, listen, be true to yourself. That's Always. Right. Right. Be true to yourself, right. you know? Sometimes you'll have people that hang around you, loyal to the person that sits in the seat, but not loyal to the person that's there. Oh, right? That's right. Oh, that's so true. I'll say this to you. <clears throat> never, ever. Quit is not in my vocabulary. All right. Blame. Never give up. All right. Never, yeah. never give up. Right. Um, All right. Funny thing, a person um, sent me a few quotes, and I'll try to remember them as best as I can. You know, you never, you never forget the people that ignored your telephone calls. Mm. Right? When you needed them the most. But you never forget those people who contacted you to help you before you can even ask. Okay? So while everybody sits with their positions, listen, you're going to be a man and you're going to be a woman far longer than you're going to be an employee in your job. Okay? And if you don't evolve and if you don't find God and find Christ, <laughs> life is going to be a struggle. Well, my life became a struggle when I decided on Super Bowl Sunday <laughs> last year, yeah. and I approached our pastor building while we was in church, and I said I wanted to be saved. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 So when, when I became saved, and then I became, then I was ultimately baptized. Thank God. Come on, he sir. told me, he said, "Listen, you got to live your life by way of these three E's, right? All right. Don't tell everyone, right? Uh -huh. Educate." <laughs> And be the best evangelist you possibly can be. So now here I go. I'm going to Comstat. I'm going to Borough Stat meetings. And I'm talking about God before, you know, I give everybody a statistic, right? <laughs> so once I start pressing and claiming my love for God, uh -huh. that's when the true challenge is yeah. So I just want to say this, you know, um, I want to thank all my supporters. You know, I want to thank, you know, um, Future Miss Walton. Oh, yeah. And to tell you the truth, Pastor, the reason why I'm late is because I was looking for mustard seeds. <laughs> I wanted to give that to everybody, you know, because mustard seeds, if you're faithful, right? Right. Right. that's right. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. You know, then I know I'm going to be okay. All yeah. right. All right. All right. To seeing this, you know, um, I truly do miss the telephone calls oh. at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. She doesn't miss it, but I miss it. <laughs> at 3.30 in the morning. All of you guys are phenomenal. You know, I truly wish uh, Captain Alex and the 49 Precinct much success. Um, there's certain people that will come into your life, you know, and pretend. You can tell the real people from the fake. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Sometimes people will tell you things that you only want to hear. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people will only come around and do for you, oh. right? Oh. So they, they can benefit from their own yeah. thing. My right. Sometimes the very person that you would take a bullet for huh. will be the person behind the gun pulling the trigger. Oh. Right? Yes, so yes, what I say is this. Motivating young men and young women to do better be better. Right. Yeah. Motivating some of our younger officers to take promotion exams. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you know, unfortunate mm -hmm. times when I've worked together with certain, you know, uh, elected officials when mm -hmm. 
you know, a five-year-old, unfortunately, was hit and killed, was struck and killed on the Grand Concourse, Knowledge. went to church and spoke, and we raised over $2,000 to bury that five-year-old mm. because a parent doesn't expect to bury their father. Mm, that's right. All right. All Going right. to a church Jesus. and coming out of your own pocket mm. to pay somebody's books Knowledge. as long as they keep a 2.5 grade point out. Amen. Amen. Raising over $15,000 for a scholarship fund to send a young man to visit me work. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Uh, I can go on and on. You know, That's the key forward that I want you to know. All you right. Know? And right. you know what? I Trust me. You know, the DA's office has been phenomenal. The Bronx is a very, very, very tough place to work. Out of my 20-year career, I've been in this Bronx 12 years. You know, I don't fault the DA's office because they have to act on behalf of the people, you know? But I say, listen, um, I just say, listen, you know what? When, when everything comes out, it'll be a lot of apologies. All right? Yes, sir. Amen. 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 We're going to keep up with the people prayer. We love you. I do want to also acknowledge Donna, Donna Drayton here tonight. God bless you, Donna. I didn't meant to, meant to mention you earlier. God, God bless her. Huh? AK what? AK in the house. AK in the house. All right. All right. Listen, before we close tonight. Yes, Burke Avenue Baptist is in the house, too. Yeah. Listen, our benediction, I'm going to ask everyone to stand right quick. Our rabbi, our rabbi Thompson is going to give us our benediction. Thank you so much, everybody, our committee tonight. Let's give Sands a hand clap tonight. Miss Pamela Damon, tremendous job, made it happen tonight. Thank you, Pam. Um, let's just have a moment of silence. While we're here, a police officer was killed in a car wreck this morning. Yes. Yeah, and uh, we should have opened up with that. But let's just have a moment of silence for that family. There's another officer that was with her in the car, sergeant, that's laying right now at Jacoby Hospital. So let's just pray God's speed upon them. Let's just have a moment of silence. Thank you. Let's keep NYPD in our prayers. Our benediction, Rabbi Thomas. Don't leave until you're covered. Dangers are all around us, but the one and only Jehovah Almighty God, the one who have created us, we cannot see him, but he's there for us. Just lift your right hand with me, everyone in this house, if you can. Just lift your right hand. Now unto him, eternal, Savior, God and our Father. Please, dear God, cover us with your protection, with your guidance, with your love, with your grace. The Lord, God of heaven, bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord God of heaven lift up his countenance upon you and given to you his peacefulness that real shalom. In your going out and in your coming in, in your lying down and in your rising up, in your labor and in your leisure, in your laughter and in your tears, until we all come to stand before him in that great day when there'll be no more sunset. And no more dawning. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Love you all.